Swamp Wine Lounge is a new speakeasy-inspired French wine lounge in the Logan Square neighborhood. Okay, here to tell us more about their wine and food pairings, our owner and wine director Aldo Zaninato and executive chef Jacob Solomon. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. It's so funny when you say speakeasy, most people's brains automatically think Italian. You would think so? No, not really. No. You know? So, so the inspiration about this is about uh, bringing sort of like uh, an emotion from another place. Okay. And if you travel through the world, obviously, you like to leave the culture. I figured, said with the COVID and everything else, it would be nice to bring something like from another place back to Logan Square. Okay. So going through the streets of Paris many times, if you're in the wine business, you know, you just go to the wine bar, you go eat, you, you know, and you found those little details like places out of nowhere, speakeasy underground lounge and yeah. like wow this is cool yeah. so the idea was to just to bring it to Logan Square so swaf means thirst and thirst thirst is many meaning for for wine for food for life you know so we created this uh, great uh, underground under room which is a cool part of it because think about this in five minutes you can be in France yeah. and then you go up the stairs and all of a sudden you're in Rome oh, so really, really cool, cool. Yes. I because love of the idea yeah, yeah. Very sexy, very mysterious, yeah. almost kind of like. So tell me about Swaft. What is your mindset concept when you're putting this all together? Well, you know, in the wine industry, there's always been this, so many wines, you know, it's very complicated, yes. especially Italian and French people. I want people to discover wine. So the best way to do it is bring the element and having people to have the set like, oh, I'm in France, I drink French wine. Or well, I'm in Italy, I drink Italian wine. So we're trying to do partially education. Uh, we also bring like obviously this concept for the people who are like wine novice, you know, so we have a great extensive list of classic combined with new alcohol energetic wine, which is as they call it skin contact you know, uh, fermented naturally, biodynamic, organic. So we have that within the atmosphere of being like in Paris, which is kind of dark tone, longy, candlelight, uh, 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 music. We have the element of music because I feel like mm. wine, Paris and music goes together to me. Yeah, you know? I agree. So we have this little DJ site. What did you guys bring for us today? So today we're starting with like the things that we love. We're come okay. Down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Come yeah, on over. Come on, yes. Yeah. So things that we love. You know, when we talk about like food pairing and wine pairing, <gasps> the, the, the biggest, big the biggest one is always this wine, which is champagne. Thank you. And champagne is not just a celebratory like wine. Ooh, it's actually you. a wine that is. It's part of like the culture of France. Mm, yeah. Champagne is a great way to start with, or it's a great way to have a whole meal with. This one is obviously a small Ooh. producer that you really never oh, yeah, found in two mm -hmm. places. Very tasty. You know, mm -hmm. so we, when we educate the people to explain the different styles of champagne, there is the number one, the récoltant, the négociant. Récoltant means the one that people are growing the grapes and make their own champagne. Okay. Négociant, the one that the people like basically have contract with different vineyards. Mm -hmm. They bring the grapes in and make the wine as a style. Okay. This style changes every year, so which is really beautiful. So I want to share this with people. And when you come over to Swaf, you will see that we have this combination. I want people to understand that food and wine is really a, a big part of it, the, the culture of every culture, Spain, Italy, France. So what food in. would we have with this then? So this, with the best food, would be a classic Bougère. Okay. Oh, what is that? Yeah. So we take a classic puff pastry, mm -hmm. bake it off, top it with a little Aleppo, Parmesan, and we make a petite basse mornay. It's a lovely sheep cheese and uh, toast it up. I love this because we're delicious. talking about a lot of things I have yes. no idea what they are. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> you gotta give me the champagne, yeah. you must give me this as well. Okay, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. And when you do the combination, it's really good. Now, champagne does just doesn't apply, but you'll find in the mm. champagne character this something mm. a bit more like bread character, like brioche, mm -hmm. we call mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. which is toaster mm -hmm. bread. Mm -hmm. So, with the cheese inside, it's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, champagne goes also with caviar, for instance. At the lounge, we have the caviar mm. uh, that we serve with chips, very classic, and, mm -hmm. and creme fraiche. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have uh, ma many other pairing oysters with that. Really, really good. Well, what's nice about champagne is it's a great entry. It mm. stimulates your palate. Yeah. You can have a lot of great food, but something delicate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Got, so. I love the different glasses too. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one we have, um, I decided one of the big part when I talk about like Thank wine launch for me, energy, you know, music. Yeah. You always made me think that Beaujolais is Beaujolais? kind of like yeah. the, the, the place to be because it's fun. It's uh, very rustic, yeah. but also has this great energy when you go there. The wine, of course, Fleury, it's a, a village of Beaujolais, which is a very specific location. The grape is called Gamay. And what we have here, this wine is a great example to what we do. 
We yeah. wanted to kind of show the classic for people and also this, what you call the new energy, which is like the, the skin contact wine, yeah. be more unfiltered wine, a little richer, a little bit more flavor. And what goes with this? Yeah, what? So this dish I really love. It's an old classic I used to make that I brought back, uh, foie brulee. So we take a custard, uh, cook it down, and then sugar brulee it, and it's topped off with fien herbs, hazelnuts, poppy seeds, and mulled in salt. Oh. And I can you just crack that sugar, ah. smear it on your toast. Savory. Yeah. yeah that's Little toast brioche right. points. All right, we're running out of time. We're going to get yep, through the rest yep, of the yep, wines. Yep. Okay. And then the last one, but not the least, is of course a dessert wine. Mm. I decided to bring mm. over something that's kind of like un unknown. Mm. This is why I brought it. This is why when you come to Swap, you will discover this type of wines. This is a wine made the Solera method. Mm -hmm. When I think about chocolate, I think about sweetness, right? Mm -hmm. So sweet, it's, it's kind of a wine that you want to have that enough mm. substance. This one is almost like a sherry. <laughs> <laughs> slash sweet. This I'd love. Yes. Macaroons. Girl. Yes, which really goes well with the chocolate and macaroons. And you don't think about sweet with sweet. You don't think that it would yeah. be too much. Oh, I love this. Would be too much. This one has elements of elemental walnuts, you know, has mm -hmm. a caramel, has a chocolate mm. inside mm. integrated. This is from okay. the south of France called Bagnols. And Bagnols is a method where you take the, 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 the grapes, the juice, you, you put for 10 years, you, the, the, the tank or the, the barrel goes down, gradually down. And then the last year of 10 years after, then you have a wine like this. Oh, wow. Oh, this very, is very cool. delicious. So fun. Yes. Oh, this, this is, is so um, fun, you guys. Goodness, we can go and eat and just yes. love. Yes. I feel like we're in, in Paris. You will be in Paris. Just make sure. So it's in the back way of Testaccio, which is our other restaurant. You're going to go down the stairs and make sure that you do make reservation. Our space is very limited. We yeah. have about 26, 26 seats. Oh. We open Wednesday through Saturday mm -hmm. and usually open from 6 to midnight, you know. Oh. And again, oh. Friday night music. We have a DJ coming over as a guest oh. all the time. Love it. It was yes. six, not sex, till midnight, right? Six. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like sex to me. I'm sorry. You know, maybe it's too much wine. I don't know. Oh, I'll okay, do it. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. I love it. Thank you. Yeah.